begin, make sure you're on Universal Render Pipeline. I'm in a 2D scene. I imported Universal Render Pipeline from the Package Manager. Click the search bar, type Universal. It's going to be the only thing with the keyword Universal in the standard package, package count. Universal RP. Hit install. Wait for install. You're done. Perfect. Next step is you're going to want to right click and create a sprite. Now the sprite, you know, I'm going to add in the tutorial. I'm going to reset its position. I'm going to add in the tutorial sprite. It's pretty basic. Next, I'm going to right click, hit create, shader, 2D render, sprite, li uh, lit, and then I'm going to name it uh, color swap. Make sure to pause the video if you did miss that. Okay, let's get right right into making the shader. I'm going to maximize the tab, and I'm going to begin by actually creating a texture 2D. So you can name it whatever you want, but the important part is in the reference underscore main text. This is what reads the texture that's currently on your sprite. I'm just going to put the default as my tutorial sprite. But make sure to put underscore main text. Okay. Next thing I'll do is create a color. This is what I'm going to alter to. It uh, doesn't matter what you name it, really. And the reference is what you can reference from the script, but I'm not going to go into scripts today. Okay, I'm just going to right-click and view it as a panel, as a plane, so that it doesn't look all cil cylinder and stuff. There you go. Okay, dragging this out, we're going to really quickly hit Input, Texture, Texture 2D. This just makes sure that it will uh, be the correct node. I'm going to output it to replace color as an input. Okay, I'm going to pick the color that I want to replace. Now I want to drag color reference and drag the node in. Um, yeah, I'm going to drag it into two. Perfect. It's already replacing the color. Drag the out into another. Replace color. Perfect. Now I'm going to pick the secondary jacket color. And now here's the part where it gets interesting. I'm going to drag a color reference out, make it into a multiply node, multiply it with itself after hooking it up to the two. So I can multiply the color with itself, make it darker. And bam. Now this is the part. You don't want to just output this into the color. What you want to do is you want to drag this out, output it into a split node, and you're going to want to hit space, create an, an uh, individual node, just a combined node. Yep, that's pretty much it. Drag red to red, green to green, blue to blue. Now drag the alpha from your first um, texture 2D. Bam, you've got it. And drag it into color output. You just finished, and it's completely adaptive. You can you can view his sprite right there. You know, move, change the color. It will adapt to the color. It will darken um, correctly. If you want, you can mess with the, the math around darkening your color so it becomes a better complementary color. But this is just you know an overview. If I save the asset, I can go into my scene. I can see it happening in real time. You just want to create a material. Right click the shader, create material. I'm going to just name it color swap, the same thing. <laughs> and if I drag it in, it will do color swap and I can change this color. You know, that's basically it. If you got a question for me, comment. I will try and get to your comment. I get notified, so I will read your comment and I will answer it if it's a good question. Thanks. Later.